Liberal Viewer presents. So, as I've mentioned in previous videos, often the best way to get the succinct version of Fox News' right-wing spin on a story is to watch the teaser right before the commercial, which was definitely the case on Friday with the appearance in court of Suleiman Abu Ghaith, the son-in-law of Osama bin Laden, an alleged al-Qaeda conspirator in killing Americans, leading to the Fox News teaser you can see here. Well, there is a firestorm today over the decision to bring bin Laden's son-in-law to New York for investigation, why lawmakers are outraged that he was not taken to Gitmo. We're going to talk about that. Hmm, so it looks like the real story is the outrage of Republicans, which is the only explanation for why the segment that followed was a discussion with a fairly outrageous Republican, extreme conservative lawyer and political operative now turned Fox News contributor Eric Erickson, whose anti-Obama talking points were not only unopposed by supposedly straight news anchor Bill Hemmer, but Hemmer actually facilitated those talking points, as you can see in this clip. So this is how you get around Gitmo. Because yeah, you, you remember the first executive order that was signed on day one, right. January 2009, was to close the facility. And now they've Guantanamo closed Bay. the facility that was to close Gitmo instead. Um, they're, they're, the president wants to do this. He believes it can be done. Now, in Gitmo, they've been able to do it quite successfully. There have been a number of military trials down there and convictions. They've sent others home. There's no reason he couldn't go down there other than there is an ideological opposition to keeping Gitmo open. He'd rather them come here. Billy, if a YouTube video that was never really seen could set off riots in Libya and Egypt. Imagine what could happen to try and Osama bin Laden's son in New York. Uh, we will see about that, too, and we'll see whether or not there are images that are released from him. This is federal court. Right. is lower Manhattan, and the amount of access we get may or may not happen. Seven have been convicted, by the way, through military tribunals so far at Gitmo. <laughs> Seven have been convicted by military tribunals at Gitmo? That's the only challenge the supposedly straight news anchor Bill Hemmer had to respond to Eric Erickson's claim that there's no reason Abu Ghaith couldn't have been tried at Gitmo other than an ideological one? About the fact that only two of the seven convictions at Gitmo came from trials, with the other five coming from guilty pleas, and both the Gitmo trial convictions have been overturned by appellate courts on the grounds that the charges, material support and conspiracy, are not traditional war crimes, one of which conspiracy happens to be the exact charge against bin Laden's son-in-law. And, to Fox News's credit, this important truth slipped out an hour after Bill Hemmer's softball interview of Eric Erickson, when Fox News anchor Martha McCallum interviewed former Bush Pentagon official Charles Stimson, as you can see here. Sure, we want him to be brought to justice after lawful interrogation. We don't know how long he's been interrogated, if at all. But if you want to bring him to justice, uh, I highly doubt that he's eligible uh, first off, he can't be brought to trial in military commissions for material support because the appellate court said that's not a traditional war crime. And he probably can't be brought to commissions for the conspiracy charge under which he's been charged with here in this indictment that I'm holding in my hand because conspiracy is not a traditional war crime. So if you want to bring him to justice, not just detain him, they probably have to go to federal court, mm -hmm. like it or not. Huh. Now, when I saw someone on Fox News actually make that key argument, I almost didn't make this Fox News bias video, but despite that important legal point that contradicts the Republican talking point slipping in, if you watch that whole interview, it's also softball questioning of a Republican with generous amounts of Obama bashing thrown in, and coming an hour after Bill Hemmer's softball interview of Eric Erickson, many viewers may have dropped off and never heard the real reason bin Laden's son-in-law should not be tried at Gitmo, and... Finally, the Bill Hemmer softball interview of Eric Erickson also had plenty of other uncontested Obama bashing in it, as you can see, for example, in this clip. You bring in Osama bin Laden's son-in-law to the United States, which is bipartisanly opposed by the American public to do show trials like this. This, this is clearly a direct challenge to the idea that you can conduct a civilian trial right. for these people as opposed to a military tribunal. This is the president of the United States no longer has to answer to the American people with an election. Wow. <laughs> now, calling the real trials held in federal court the show trials when they actually follow all the rights guaranteed by the Constitution is probably the most like Orwellian newspeak of all the Republican talking points the supposedly straight news anchor let his right-wing guests get away with there, especially considering that in the decade during which military tribunals have gotten those seven convictions the two of them were trumpeting, Meanwhile, actual federal trials have convicted hundreds of people charged with much more efficiency and success, none of which made it into any of the stories on America's Newsroom on Friday, which is why, despite the important legal point contradicting one Republican talking point made an hour later in the program, 
This video still belongs on my Fox News Bias playlist, I think, but I want to know what you think. Does this video show another example of Fox News bias, despite the broadcast an hour later of one important legal point contradicting one Republican talking point? And on the bigger question, after capturing people accused of engaging in or supporting terrorism, should they be tried in federal court as criminals or in military tribunals as unlawful enemy combatants? I YouTube, you decide.